Carolyn Yarbrough was walking her black lab around Neal Lake when the 80-pound dog chased some geese out onto the ice and fell through. Guess who followed? That's all I could think of, and I thought, no, it won't happen to me. I won't fall in, and yet if the dog who's lighter can fall in, why wouldn't I? On the other side of the lake, Barb Lawler and son Brett saw the woman go through. So I said to my son, run, and we, we ran. Brett called 911 while Barb ran three-fourths of a mile around the lake to get to the woman. So I just kept trying to climb and climb and climb, and I kept screaming, and finally Barbara came along. I could tell she was exhausted, and um, the first thing she said to me was, I'm not going to make it, but would you save my dog or something to that effect? And I told her I had not run all this way just to save her dog. She said she, they were going to call 911, and I said, how soon will they be here? I'm about ready to give up because I was tired and my hands were so cold and, and numb. They really weren't feeling anything then. And she just crawled on her belly all the way over till I could grab her and pull her out. And then she put her coat on me. And she tried to warm my hands and she put her arms around me. And she was wonderful, she really was. I have a lot to thank her for. Rescue crews used a hovercraft to pluck the dog out of the water. One and a half year old Samantha recuperated at the vet and is doing fine. As for the hero of this drama... I just feel it's a miracle that I was here. This isn't something I do every day. Um, it's, really, um, it's really kind of freaky that I was here.